life gets really on top, so fuck all the noisy names and cops. If the drop come crisp like rock, then we still got time to slant some ops. Hit man life with a pop, no radio when his body drops. We done glid on numerous blocks and restoration, I put him on mumsy's top. And his beef gets really on top, so fuck. Dig Dad, aka Nathan Takoki, is a UK drill rapper with a crazy story. Dig Dad would grow up in Deptford in southeast London and would be involved in crime from a very young age. Dig Dat would join a local gang known as Sho at only around 12 or 13 years old. Sho would eventually become extinct and Dig Dat would rep D-Block slash Ghetto. Unfortunately, at just 13 years old, Dig Dat would stab a 14-year-old who repped his ops, known as Silwood Nation. The 14-year-old was actually very lucky to survive and would require antibiotics for the rest of his life. For this incident, Dig Dat would receive a year 10 prison sentence at the age of just 13. Dig Dat would end up serving five years. Bouncer, who was Dig Dat's former manager, also mentions this situation on a podcast. When Dig Dat came out, he released a song called Air Force, which would end up being the start of Dig Dat's career. Air Force would go viral and even got into the top 20 charts in the UK, which was a huge achievement. It also got a remix with K-Trap and Crept and Conan. At this time, Dig Dat would be being managed by Bouncer, who is very well known in the drill scene. Dig Dat would end up working with huge artists like Losky and D-Block Europe, whilst also finding a lot of success solo, gaining millions of views. The only thing he was really missing was consistency, which was strange since he had been staying out of jail since releasing Air Force. Dig Dat would end up falling out with his manager Bouncer after Dig Dat refused to do a verse for a song in memory of Cadet. Bouncer was close with Cadet before his passing, and Cadet was the first person to bring Dig Dad out on a show. This would lead to Dig Dad and Bouncer parting ways pretty publicly. Unfortunately, even though he had the potential to be one of the biggest rappers in the UK, just a few months ago, Dig Dad would be arrested on suspicion of shooting Stryker XCGM8 plus times and nearly killing him. This was a retaliation to Dig Dat being robbed by CGM members after allegedly being set up by model Leah Mai. Dig Dat is currently still locked up and is actually locked up in the same cell as Banda KOFB. Dig Dad is facing very serious charges and could be looking at 10 to 20 years if found guilty. If he was locked up for this, then it would be the end of his music career and a huge waste of potential.